Our tourism in Samoa is one of our mainstays for our economic uh, uh, livelihood. And um, we have improved on our infrastructure to some degree. We have a lot of rooms that we've put in the market. Uh, we have a range of rooms from five star uh, on down to three star and also to our beach valleys. Obviously, as the numbers go up for our supply, we also need to make sure that we have enough uh, travelers to come through to Samoa uh, in order to fill these rooms. So thus, uh, we're looking to uh, our emerging markets. Uh, China is definitely one of our emerging markets and uh, we are hoping to uh, have the Chinese come down and, and enjoy our hospitality, enjoy what Samoa is all about. Our people, our people are genuine and I know the Chinese will love our people once they come down here. We have wonderful activities that we can offer to them uh, so that they can enjoy and get the full experience of what it's like to be in Samoa. So basically that's what we are doing. We, we've put our, our airline back in the air, Samoa Airways. Obviously that's not enough. We need uh, more routes more airlines to come to Samoa and hopefully our Chinese friends will be able to help us uh, by bringing uh, an, an airline to Samoa um, so that uh, we can have another route established. Uh, the world is getting smaller and the Chinese are the, uh, the most travelers uh, in terms of the numbers. And so we want to tap into that uh, market, get a piece of that pie, and we know the Chinese will not be disappointed. Obviously, we realize that when our Chinese friends come, uh, they will want a lot of activities. And so we are definitely working with our various government agencies as well as our private sector to try and uh, do something with our sites as well as create activities that we can ensure that there is a good experience for every person that travels here to Samoa and of course get the flavor of what it's like to be in Samoa and meet her people.